it seems to be one of the hardest questions to answer, and scientists have been trying to find a solution to the problem. This question has been hovering around for a very long time. But with modern technology, we have made calculations and observations to estimate the minimum size of our universe. Looking at the observable universe, we measure the radius of our bubble universe at 39 billion light years. And that's at least 78 billion light years in diameter. But hold on a second, the universe has an age of 13.8 billion years. Therefore, it seems logical to think that the light can only travel across 13.8 billion light years. This diameter of the observable universe seems to break Einstein's theory of special relativity. It would make sense to assume that the observable universe can only be confined by the age of itself. By doing a quick calculation, the universe should be 27.6 billion light years across. There's just one thing that stops the universe from being 27.6 billion light years across. And that's the expansion of space-time. Space-time is everywhere, constantly being created, ever increasing the diameter of the universe. And this expansion has been occurring for over 13 billion years. When a photon travels from a distant galaxy, the photon travels through space-time at a universal speed limit. 300,000 kilometers per second, the speed of light, or c in Einstein's famous equation. As the photon travels through space into our telescopes, the journey through which it has travelled is a static medium. The time it is taking from a distant galaxy to Earth's telescope, the universe has expanded. New space-time is being created as the photon travels, so therefore when the photon hits the telescope detectors, the distance it has travelled has increased. For example, Let's imagine that you and I are on a stretch of road, a hundred feet long, and I am running toward you. In this example, I am a photon travelling from a distant galaxy. I am also travelling at a fixed speed, a constant. As I am running, the road starts to stretch, simulating the expansion of space-time. This increases the distance between you and I. I will eventually reach you, but it would have taken longer because of the expansion of the road. This expansion shows that I would have walked more than 100 feet from when I started my journey. This casts the illusion that everything is moving away from you. But it is simply the space between us that is moving relative to us. Because of the accelerating expansion of space-time caused by dark energy, the road can expand at such a rate that my velocity may never reach its destination. I will simply vanish into what is called the unobservable universe. The surprising thing is that the fabric of space-time is not restricted by the theory of special relativity. This expansion of the universe has no speed limit, so therefore light from distant galaxies may never reach us because the space between us and them is travelling faster than light. One of Hubble's most famous images is the ultra-deep field. Some of these galaxies are only around 600,000 million years old. The photons from these galaxies have been travelling for over 13 billion years. But once these photons get to our detectors, the photons wouldn't have travelled 13 billion years, but they would have travelled 39 billion years. This is because of the expansion of space-time as the photons have made their journey to our detectors. Looking through the formula of special relativity, no laws have been broken. The photon simply travels through at the speed of light, but the expansion of space-time is not bound by Einstein's laws. Space-time just keeps accelerating into the void of the unknown. This energy of the expansion is called dark energy and we are just beginning to scratch the surface of this mysterious force.